welcome back explorers. It's time to hit the beach. I'm gonna go down to Gosford and see some family. I'm gonna spread it over a couple of days. I'm gonna stop into some of uh, Northern New South Wales most beautiful beaches and uh, and check it out. I've always wanted to do this, so, so really looking forward to it. Got a couple of campsites booked. Uh, so sit back, relax, and let's uh, explore some beaches together. Yep. Not a bad run down, just got into Evans Head. I went into the main township there and had a bit of a look around, just stopped and got a few things for the fridge. Very nice little uh, little cozy town. So I'm just heading down to uh, the cut into the beach. Um, just gonna check it out. I don't think the tide's on my side, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go check it out, see if I can get a nice little spot down there. And uh, then crack a beer and watch the sunset, I think. It's actually a really nice little town. It's a perfect spot for me too to uh, stop uh, on the first stop because it would take me three, th a bit over three hours to get here with the afternoon traffic. And then if I wake up, I leave by maybe seven in the morning, I'll get down to Stockton Beach, probably about one o'clock maybe. Which sounds good to me. Pippies to be used for bait only. Alright, let's get out and have a look. Gonna quickly let down the tires and then we'll head down the beach. We're on here. So this is a totally new beach to me. I've never been here before, never been on this beach. So I did do a bit of research last night on Google Maps. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I kind of know the area a little bit now uh, from the topography, um, but uh, I'm not gonna go too far up. I, I'm just gonna go for a little bit of an explore and then find a nice safe spot from, the, from high tide. And then, uh, yeah. Might uh, chill for a bit. What do we got? I hope you can hear me all right. This is uh, using the new uh, road mics. Roadie, road mics. Oh, wow. Yeah, check this out. Oh, that's the inlet there. Gonna get out and check this out, man. This is friggin' cool. Oh yeah. First time beaching in New South Wales. 
Yeah, buddy. This is the jam. This is the jam and the honey. So I wonder how far the tide actually comes in. And that's the next question. What a spot. You. Be meant if I could drive up onto here, but I don't think you're allowed to. Might just go for a quick look. Oh, there's actually a lot of snake warning signs around too, so. And I hate snakes. So I'm gonna stay on the sand. I'm not walking in that grass. Yeah, I don't know, there's tracks here. I mean, this would be mint if I could camp just here. Just up on here somewhere. I mean, how perfect would that be? So you don't need a permit, permit for this beach. I've booked one for Stockton Beach tomorrow, but this one, you don't actually need one. There's a sign up here, I might just check this out. No vehicles beyond this point. So that must mean that you're allowed up here. Into that little inlet there. Surely I can tuck in there somewhere for high tide. Surely. See? No vehicles beyond this point. Which must mean I can come up to there. Which is ideal for me, because that's what I would love to do. Even in there. Just for high tide, that'd be mint. There's only another hour and a half to a high anyway. I don't think it's gonna come up that far. So I reckon I'm just gonna hang around here. It's a mint spot. Nice and uh, secluded from the wind where I just parked there. It's like a southerly wind. So, yeah. Might just hang out there. Yeah. Check it it. Still hear me, mate? All right. Just gonna go for a little squirt around here. Just have a look along here. Reminds me of uh, Bribey Island. Just gonna see what this sign says here. Actually, I'm just gonna check this bit out. What's that in there? Oh yeah, dude, what's this? This is a little spot here. Oh yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> How good is this? <laughs> just, just have a look at this. What a spot. Like, surely. I reckon this might be a go. Yeah, I like this better. This is nice and tucked away. Look at that. I can chill here for a bit. Pogue life. What a mint spot. Yeah, I'm gonna chill here. Set you up there for a bit, eh? How's that? <whistles> Absolute bloody minter. Mate. That's photo worthy. There's a track there, and there's beautiful little grass area up here. So this will be my escape route if the tide comes in higher than I, I suspect it will tonight. This is my escape route. Hang on, I'll grab the GoPro so I can show you. Where are you? All right, are you still with me? 
You still with me? Still got some battery there or what? Oh, I got 9% battery. So before I change the battery, sorry, I know I'm swinging you around a bit, a bit excited. So before I change the battery, I'm just gonna show you what I was just blabbering on about. So there's this little track here. So this is gonna be my spot, I think, after I chill on the beach, because this will be my emergency situation if the tide comes in further than I suspect it will. This will provide me a safe route out, which is right next to where my truck's parked. And check this out. This, this like goes into this beautiful little grass area. So I'll tell you what, as long as I stay away from the snakes, I'm set. So that's it. That's me. I'll chill on the beach for a little bit, enjoy the sunset, and I think I'll pull the car in there, hang out for a few hours. Might even, uh, I don't know, throw the tent off or something. I, I couldn't find any information on camping here. So, but I've got to get a few, uh, a couple of hours sleep. So there's no accommodation at all in at the township because school holidays, there's nowhere else I can sleep, so. Like I said, did, did some research, no permits required. So I'm just gonna have to run the gauntlet, see how I go. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's swap this battery. And then I reckon I might uh, crack a beer and watch the sunset. I'll tell you what, whoever designed this medium mod for the uh, GoPro needs to be uh, held accountable. To try and change the battery on that thing, you've got to unhook the, the Rode uh, wireless microphone transmitter, unplug it, then undo the GoPro mount, and then undo, and then take the GoPro out of the, the media mount case, change the battery, then do all that stuff back on it. Oh my god. Fix it. Someone fix it. Right, we're back. So, uh, all right, so, yep, hopefully that microphone's still working. So that's me, mate. That's me. I'm gonna do it here. Just a little fucking seat. Open up my canopy, get all the sand off. And I tell you what, Bob, he's definitely my uncle. Mate. He's your mother's brother, surely. Evan's head. What a spot. Cheers. Let's enjoy the sunset, eh? Stay. I honestly think it's one of those, it's one of those days where I could seriously just sleep on the beach for a couple of hours. I mean, the weather's perfect. No wind here where I'm sitting. I dead set would lie my skinny ass on the sand right there and sleep for a couple of hours. And by George, I think I might just do it. 
what a mint afternoon. I know I keep saying it, but wow. I was kind of expecting, you know, to be really rough, really windy, not much beach at all to even try and drive on because of the tide. But it's such a shallow, long beach that there's plenty of sand to drive on. So there's, there's no trouble here at all. It's been something to think about. You know, we do a lot of the, um, a lot of the southeast Queensland beaches, but I've always wanted to check some of these out. So I think uh, towards the end of this year and early next year, I think we might even start hitting these northern New South Wales beaches a bit more because, I mean, this is just spectacular. Took me, took me just over three hours to get here from my house, which is north, north of Brisbane, about 25 min minutes north of Brisbane. And it takes about two and a half hours for me to get to Rainbow Beach, so quite achievable. Might even put the drone up. What do you reckon? Yeah. Look at that. throw the drone up. Always wants me to update it when I'm on the beach. Doesn't want me to do it when I'm home. Usually takes a minute just to uh, just to lock onto the satellite. Then it gives you an okay to go. We're on. Alright. I'll cut to a little bit of a pan out. Now you'll be able to check me out and see where I am. So I'm going to put a few scratches on the nav today. Oh, I might fit through. Yep. Got him. 
the other thing is I checked when I leave early in the morning, the high tide in the morning is far lower than the high tide now. So got plenty of space to drive up the beach, back to the cut in, back to Evans Heads Township, and then back onto the highway tomorrow for my second part of the road trip. Oh, this is awesome. Just endless, endless beach. What a vibe. Have a go at this spot. Just went back up onto the grass bit where I was before and just came up the other side and found this. What? What a spot, dude. Alright, there was a sign about not disturbing the birds and I just disturbed one so I don't want to go off that track. Um, I'll try and just stay on the track or on the beach there. Like I said, I, I did as much research trying line as I could but... Um, oh look, there's all birds down there. What a spot. Wow. This place is just off its head. Evan's head, you're off your head. Wow. Have a look at this. That's me for the afternoon. I've had a bit of explore around. Now I'm parked up for the night and I'm just going to sit on the beach, have a couple of beers and enjoy this because um, I'm absolutely astonished. This beach is amazing. I'm so pumped with it. So pumped that I stopped off here and had a look. Ugh. Cheers, guys. Full moon, too. How good is this? Well, I might retire, guys, so I'll get a bit of a kip and uh, wake up early and start the second run of this road trip down to Stockton Beach. So, see you in the morning.